on today's shopping adventure. I found the eggnogs. Let's go take a look at what's on the shelves. So here we are at my favorite grocery store, the Hitchcock's and the dairy section. And yet these are the three eggnog brands that we have on shelves. So we got Borden, we've got Southern Comfort, and we've got Highland. My go-to has always been the Southern Comfort brand. And now that there are other options on the shelf, I'm really looking at the ingredients here. And look at that, the third ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. It also has... Um, yeah, diglycerides. We don't need any of that stuff, so I put that one away. All right, went over to the Borden one. None of the, the fancy name stuff. Well, there's there are some things in here. There's natural and artificial flavors. And um, guar gum, that's just a thickener, so that's actually not that bad. It's from a, a bean. It's not bad. But I was wondering about the other brand, this Highland brand. Um... I find it funny that they list grade A milk and then they also have whey, which they say is a milk and then cellulose gum that's just made from a wood pulp. That's not, it's a thickener. Um, you know, it's not, it's not bad actually. It's really not. Um, but then my eye drifted over to next to it is this custard stuff. And I was like, Hey, what's in that? So I compared the ingredients here. The custard doesn't have the, um, the cellulose gum and it has skim milk. I guess they cut some of the milk with skim milk and the rest of it seems pretty much similar. Now let's look at the calories and the nutrition information, see if that had any effect having the skim milk. And it does actually. So the sodium for the custard is 75 milligrams where the sodium for the eggnog is a hundred. And look at the cholesterol is different too. It's 10 milligrams less on the custard. So yeah, I went with the custard. I just wanted to point out the prices here. So it's $8.50 for that half gallon. It's $4 for the pint. And uh, right next to it, let's go back to the beginning shot here. The skim milk is $2.09 compared to $6. That's three times the price. Like, come on, this is highway robbery. This is stupid. You should not be paying this much money for for something. I know it's seasonal and it's only available right now, but Borden is off its rocker if they think that people are going to pay that much money. Um, no, just put it down. Do not give Borden the money. Put it down. That's great. Put it back. Yay, you made it. You came back. <laughs> or you stuck around. Thank you. If you stuck around this far, why don't you think about subscribing and uh, you can see more of these kind of crazy shopping adventures. Woohoo! Okay, so we're going to taste test the one that I bought. Now, I bought the custard, this old-fashioned custard. I bought it because, remember back, you know, a second ago when you are watching, I looked at the different ingredients. This one didn't have all the extra stuff. And it had 10 milligrams less of, of cholesterol. And I thought, hey, this stuff is pretty bad for you, so why not go with the thing that has the, the least amount of cholesterol? Um, I wanted to take a sip while we're here at the store when I get home, I get busy with other stuff. So let's try this out. It tastes like custard. It tastes like ice cream when you let it sit on the, on, the, on the couch. Don't let it sit on your couch. When you let it sit on the counter for too long and it gets like kind of warm. Like it's not cold, but it's not warm. It's like kind of warm, kind of cold. Yeah, that's what this tastes like. And... I guess if I put it in the refrigerator and made it cold, it would taste cold. <laughs> so maybe that's not the brand's fault. Now at home, I do have some apple pie seasoning, which essentially is, you know, eggnog flavoring. It's nutmeg. It's, I don't know what's in it. It's apple pie seasoning. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put some of that on top of this and then it'll maybe taste a little bit more festive, Christmassy, eggnoggy, because right now it's just, that's just some damn good vanilla ice cream melted. But, um, I don't know. Is it worth the price of eggnog these days? Not really. Just go get some ice cream and melt it down. See, see all this fat? This fat did not come from eating diet crappy foods. This came from eating chicken cordon bleu with 100% whipping cream as a kid. I mean, <laughs> my family knows how to eat. So uh, 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next foodie adventure. Bye. I like to look my worst so when I actually get dressed, I look good.